What is going on, true believers? Guys, we're going to talk today about Bitcoin because it is all about Bitcoin and the markets are starting to bubble underneath. And you know what that means? That means that we're at the start, the golden bull. That's what we're looking at right now. When we get into this range, it's going to get absolutely crazy. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, the bell to be notified of future content and leave and leave me a comment down below. The comment for the question that I'm going to ask you today is, do you think Bitcoin is going to hit 50,000 before the halving? That's going to be the question of the day. Very curious to see what you have to say about that. As some of you might know, I've been calling for that for a long period of time. And a lot of people at first thought I'm crazy. But may I introduce to you, this is the Bitcoin chart. We have a halving coming down here. And this is the Bitcoin chart. I want you guys to take a really good look at this. Uh, do you think that this looks like something that's about to stop and slow down? Do you think that this looks like something that is not just absolutely starting to soar? Let me step back here just for a second here and give you a little context to why uh, I think the Bitcoin is going to hit 50 to 52,000. Like we're going into this range. Like it's it's right here. And the reason for that, this is the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. This is the uh, alternative nine, if you will, of BlackRock Fidelity Arc 21. Grayscale had an outflow on the 8th of minus 101 million. The rest of the, the Bitcoin spot ETFs had an inflow of 506 million total leaving a positive flow of $405 million coming into Bitcoin over the last one day. Now, you might be asking yourself, what does that mean largely? Well, what that means largely is that the money is still, is just, and by the way, it's just starting. We're just now getting the real run of what these Bitcoin spot ETFs are going to look like and We've got an Ethereum one probably on the way. Now, can we say for sure that that is or is not the case? I don't know. I, I think that the answer is yes. I think that the genie's out of the bottle, so to speak, and that you know it's too late now. But um, I mean, let's go back and let's look at this. This is the third biggest inflow day, and it's happening yesterday. It's basically the last business day. We had a massive massive day and it continues to happen. Now, what does that mean largely? Largely what that means is we're going to continue. This is not the end. This is just the start. Now, what does that mean for the price of Bitcoin? That means this for the price of Bitcoin. You're seeing this paradigm start to play out. Now, if you just pause it for a moment here and consider, like, could there be a correction? Could this be a little similar to what this is right here? Yeah, it really could be. But where did that end up the last time, right? That ended up at 49,000. Well, uh, in the event that we just kind of uh, say that, well, history kind of repeats itself. So what does history look like? Well, that looks like this right here, putting us into 52,000. Like it, this is what's happening right now. We could see some drawdown. We could see, uh, and by the way, we are in a new paradigm right now. We're in a new space. This is a Bitcoin that you haven't seen before. So it's going to be very interesting what happens. Now, uh, as far as sentiment goes, look at this. This is the 20 crossing over the 50 right now. The 100 is still ripping its way up and continuing to provide a potential for support coming along here. Now, when I did that just now, I thought, oh, wow, I'm not even getting close to, like, this is the way the 100 is moving right now. OK, um, and that's a support line. That's going to be this, the current support line when you're in this bullish momentum. So, you know, where are we going to in a couple of days? Where do we come down to? You know, this is we are in a spot where it would be nothing at this point to see Bitcoin just absolutely take off. And when we come down to the hour long time frame, what are we seeing? We're seeing a consolidation and a move towards the upside, a consolidation and move to the upside. Now, look, I want you to see it over here. We saw this move and we saw a consolidation and then a move to the upside. So then we saw the same thing over here. And then what do we see here? The same thing. And then what do we see? We saw a longer consolidation and then this massive move to the upside. So if this continues on, and we have no reason to think at this point with the markets being what they are, that anything fundamentally about this is about to change. Now, 
we've seen we've seen the right talk about the cognitive decline of the current president. We've seen the left talk about the cognitive decline of the expected future president. We've seen uh, we we've seen Tucker Carlson giving interviews in Russia to Vladimir Putin and asking like, why are you attacking the Ukraine? And Vladimir Putin going for some wild stuff like, well, four billion years ago in the time of dinosaurs or whatever kind of wild ass logic he was using in order to say, I want this country back. Um, and that's that sounds dangerous, right? And, and and each one of those sounds dangerous, right? But guess what? Here we are. Now we're seeing the U.S. economy starting to bleed. Thirty-four point two trillion dollars is the deficit in the U.S. economy. And you know what hedges against that? It's right there. It's Bitcoin. Bitcoin hedges against that. You're, you're looking at it on the screen. So what does this ultimately mean? More people and more people are finding out that that is the truth, that Bitcoin represents that next big paradigm, that it represents that moment where all of this stuff really starts to pay off and where it just becomes that next big thing. And guess what? We're looking at it right here. You're seeing it on the screen and you're seeing that another move is planned. And if I start to break it out and I start to break it down and I give you, this is how it continued when it started to move, when it was time, when it was time, this is what happened. And it continued to happen. And then it kept going and it continued to happen. And Grayscale and, and BlackRock and all of them got in and it's continuing to happen. And it's going to continue happening all the way through the having, And then once the having gets here and it becomes a lot harder for Bitcoin to be minted and mined, then it's going to become even scarcer or more scarce. I don't know what the word is. I'm going to go with more scarce because that feels right, but it's going to become more scarce. And when it becomes more scarce, then guess what happens? The price goes up. The anticipation of this is happening right now. The call options, billions of dollars in call options right now currently sit over 50,000 because for them, 50,000, do you know what that is? It's the golden bull. That's when everything starts. And you're going to see a bunch of people come in. Now, what are you going to see when this happens? You're going to see this move and you're going to see this. And then you're going to see this right here. You're going to see this come back down here. You know what this is going to be right here? That's going to be the alts. And that's going to mean that altcoin season is coming. And you're going to get an altcoin season, uh, the likes of which you've maybe never even seen before. But uh, we're up $12 billion on the day. Bitcoin is hovering around 48,000 too. Uh, we've got the, the Super Bowl. We've got a whole bunch of different things that are happening today. We've got just some wild stuff. And I see a little drawdown uh, on some of these uh, some of these assets as you come down, but Bitcoin cash up 12 and a half percent. You're seeing you're seeing this market really getting ready for what is going to be a massive Bitcoin move. This is not their time yet, but their time is coming. When we hit this right here, this is when it starts to happen. This is when we get a mini altcoin season and everybody starts to move into altcoin assets. Well, here's the thing. Because the paradigm has shifted, then what you're going to see, and I'm telling you this right now uh, so that you don't fade, and what we're going to see is this is going to the all-time high. Here's the all-time high right here. We're not that far away. So, guys, I want you to consider if we just have the last move that we had right here, if this is the start, if this is the start of this right here, okay, just, just to consider if this right here, and we're going to go from the impulse move, from the impulse move to the top over here. If we just go from that impulse move to the top over here, from the impulse move to the top over here, and you see it's playing out, right? Impulse move to the top. Where are we? $76,000 Bitcoin. Guys, it is happening in front of our eyes right now. Uh, Bitcoin is being bought up. It's being taken off of exchanges every single day. Uh, BlackRock is buying more. Grayscale uh, is is slowly uh, slowing down their selling pressure. And guess what? At some point, they're going to start buying again. 10,000 Bitcoin is going to come off exchanges every single day because that's the way that it works. What are you going to do then? What's going to happen then? Guys, There, there's a moment here in time where you're watching, and you're watching it right now. You're watching this moment in time where Bitcoin becomes something more. It's, it's here. The time is here. We're just playing out the days right now. But when this is done, altcoin season is going to start. And then this right here, all of this money, everything that's up here uh, as Bitcoin dips. And, and guys, think about the math. Think about the math. When this dips, it comes back down here. That's a mini altcoin season. But when this happens right here, and it comes back down to this range right here, that's when the big altcoin season happens. We're so close, guys. You're going to make it. We're all going to make it. This is a new paradigm. This is a new market. And I'm so glad we're all here for it. This is not financial advice. My name is Believes. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again 
very, very soon. We have a giant update from Cryptonomy.finance. Guys, brand new website, Solana. I'm going to earn 26 Solana for this move right here. About 2600 bucks, 2600 dollars for my tether over here. Uh, the XRP 2313. Again, these do not unlock for a long period of time. I'm not going to unlock until November, but uh, I'm going to have 0.99, one extra Ethereum. Don't know how much it's going to be worth at that time. You never know. Worth nothing might be worth a lot. 0.08 Bitcoin I'll have available at that point. 0.037 Bitcoin over here, and then 0.012 bit this launch pool now i'm locked in until november of 2024 you can see that my accrued interest so far 57,281.92 now you might be asking yourself like how are you earning this uh blazes because i signed up to cryptonomy.finance i just put the money in i gave myself a shot gave it an opportunity uh in the bull run that's where the money gets made so i'm gonna let this ride for a little while you let me know what you think